Welcome to another episode of Adventures in Welding. This is episode number 45, and this is going to be part four in our series of the five basic joint types. And today I've got a couple pieces of mild steel tacked up here in the T joint position. So what we're going to be doing is running a fillet weld down through this joint. Now this is just about eighth inch mild steel. So I'm going to put my amperage control around 100 amps. Uh, the chart on top of the machine says 70 to 110. I've done this before. I know right around 100 amps is where I want to be. And we're going to weld this up with uh, silicon bronze filler metal. And we're not going to braze it. We're actually going to melt the base metals all together, creating an admixture. And that will give us a nice gold-colored weld. So you guys will be able to see a nice contrast between the base metal and the weld. Now the base metal has been cleaned, all the uh, mill scales off of it, because Pig likes clean. So let me get geared up, and we'll get right to it. All right, when doing this fillet weld on the T-joint, you want to point your electrode at a 45 degree angle right at the base, the root of the joint. And you've got to stay there and you've got to dwell until both sides start melting together. Once that happens, you can add filler metal and move on. But you got to wait. If you jump the gun too soon, you're not going to have a good weld. So let me switch on the Eastwood TIG 200. Adjust my pedal. Don't want to forget that. And we're ready to go. Make sure you got your PPE on. Now this number 17 style torch I'm using has a flex head. I like that. I like to be able to get my angle in there right where I want it. Makes a lot of difference. All right, enough babble. Let's get to the wall. Now when you're doing this, when those sides start melting together, you might see a tiny keyhole start to form. And that's okay, you just don't want to let it get too big. And it's also a perfect time to tell you that's when you want to add your fill. to the end of my welding now. So I'll get right up here where I'm going to stop. I'm going to start tapering off and adding a little bit extra metal. So there's the extra metal and taper off, give it a little swirl. Ooh. 
All right, there's our fillet weld. You can see there's no undercutting on either the top or the bottom. We've got good penetration, nice ripples. But your welding procedure, your WPS, might call for a larger fillet weld. So we're going to do a second weld on top of this one using a little weave motion. I couldn't get any arc shots of the uh, second pass, the weave pass. Just wasn't happening today. But here's a quick look at it. You can see it's nice and smooth there, no undercut. And then if we look up here, that ain't nothing but undercut. So, that's bad. If this were a production, that would need to be ground out and done again. Why did it turn out like this? As I was weaving, I was adding metal, add, 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 add. What you need to be doing is add, 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 add. And you get the picture, right? Let that be a lesson to you. Don't undercut. Guys, this is going to be the last episode until after Christmas because today is Christmas Eve. So have a wonderful Christmas with your families. And I'll see you on Friday.